Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. Thank you very kindly. Lars Nelson. I make original blues rock music with a twist of psychedelic and funk. Mike Jacobs, bass. Ben Beaver, drums. And Dan Fink, guitar. And when did you first start getting into music? As long as I can remember. My dad recorded audio tapes of me singing and making up stories at the age of two. So, uh, and my dad's a choir teacher, so music was always in the house. I was able to differentiate between radio stations from a pretty early age and um, yeah, it influenced me incredibly. Was that led into starting to perform in front of like audiences or? Well, I think it was through primary school and high school. I was in, always in choirs and I was in community theater and musicals and stuff. So I was always approaching it from a bunch of different angles as far as the performance aspect. I always loved performing in front of an audience. So whether it be 
musical stuff or having my own band or I always approach from a few different angles. If Grime Still Pays, that was one that I liked exploring a character and kind of coming up with this fictitious story about a guy kind of searching for his options in a world where he was having a tough time keeping a job and he was middle-aged and it was, you know, things were in flux in his life and, and to what degree would he be pushed to maybe go an illegal route and, and try something that's outside of the, the bounds of normal societal rules. And I enjoyed that. I've, I've, I've written a follow-up to that song since kind of exploring the characters further on after um, something like that goes down. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's a fun little um, creative challenge. To the bottom of your now we're in best scheme since years before. Moving back to bottom of my great grandfather's gate. Won't even try to be seen. The depths are out now when my job dropped up to Sam. From ceramic to an old tech cup. Jefferson was three, but at night it's rolled in shoes. Can't even shake this booze. There's a ramp tackle joint down the interstate. With a full cast back that's over lit. If I could make a little time for sweet Miss K, I'll see. Here's the cops still with the one to use Mouth smell and wear I say got the felonies that I can't confess The best thing to buy my choice as long as them I can say I see the cops still with Grabbing a nine to five, but the suit and tie life is now where I drop. Go to the fine pen face, a mind of sands I know. It ain't in the plans for a manager to come around and take a chance. I'm a spotty wreck, you wish I was a vamp. Trying to coast on time, hoping one day my pension will come through. Here's what I do there's a ram shack of joint down the interstate where the full cash box stands over and lit. If I could make a little time for sweet Miss K, I see. Your crowd still is the one to use Mouth smelling well Sing out the felonies that I can't confess Best thing about the choice as long as that I can say See your crowd still free
Uh, thank you very kindly. And what drew you to rock music? I think digging through my dad's vinyl collection when I was a kid, listening to Sgt. Pepper and Stevie Wonder and, and things of that nature. I always liked exploring into what those lives must have been like when you can open up Sgt. Pepper and see these guys in these cool outfits and like, you know, crazy facial hair and like it just it looks like, whoa, what a cool job that must be. And then these wild stories that take you very much out of your small town upbringing. I definitely think I was, I was drawn to that. So what's performing like live for you? Like what's the performance atmosphere? Like what do you do to like prepare for a live show? Well, I, I usually end up, not even for gigs, but I just end up singing most days, like just in the car, in the shower, you know. I'm always hearing melodies or always, you know, in that kind of creative space. For shows, I like to play a lot of music that inspired me, so, you know, stuff that'll kind of get me revved, get me going, play some Chicago blues, some Rolling Stones, you know, any number of things that, just depending on the day, okay, what is speaking to me? What's, what's gonna get me to that place of, you know, energized to play out, so. And when you, have a performance, do you usually come in with like, all right, here's the songs I'm definitely gonna do tonight, or is it kind of just an outline of what you might play, but like if you feel like changing it up during the show, would you do that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I usually have like a, a basic set list. I think my band members are more into having it really definitively laid out. I like having a little more flexibility of, let's see how the audience responds, because sometimes you'll have, you'll get a good flow going on, you get a dance floor, and suddenly it's like, oh, I know what to drop next, that was, much further in our set, but let's put that right here because we have a dance floor, let's keep them. You know? Hollywood Hills uh, is another one that I wrote out in Los Angeles. I was auditioning for this. I got a call back for a TV show and the, the producers sent me out on their nickel to stay at a hotel and just being in Hollywood and seeing so many people in that area that are living that dream, like, or trying to live that dream. Your waiter is is trying to be an actor. The person that's checking you in at the hotel is trying to be a singer. It's just like, everybody's got a side hustle. Everybody's got, you know, this dream. And that, that's what a lot of that's about, is just all the different variables that go into late night television or, or film or, you know, there's so many people out there in such close proximity that are all chasing that dream that they've had since kids and to varying degrees of success. But you can see why there's been a lot of cool creativity that's come out of that area is just because so many people have to bring their best game because there's other people that would be very happy to take their place. So. Cause I'm a 
Thank you very much. So how do you approach songwriting? Do you have like lyrics come to mind first? Or yeah, oftentimes they kind of come concurrently. I have both lyrics and melody that can come at the same time. But sometimes it can just be like a rhythm. Sometimes I've had that from driving. You go over, you know, like potholes at a certain pace or where they'll fix the road and you can hear it. Tut, 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 tut. I'm like, oh, that's a cool beat. All right, and you start singing over it and coming up with something around it. There's, there's a lot of things that in nature that are rhythmic. And So what do you do in those situations? Do you like have like a recording device with you and just yeah often oftentimes have a, a digital recorder with me okay or uh, sometimes I'll keep it by my bedside because it's just like you never know when you have an idea when you just when you wake up and if you go oh no I'll get to it I'll remember it and then you go back to sleep or you know you do five or ten minutes of your day and it's totally gone so I like having it really a close proximity because sometimes those those ideas are the best because you're not overthinking it you're not trying to dissect if it's good or not it's just like Ooh, that's fresh, you know. I've, I've dreamt a few songs before where I had it in, in my head and I can hear this melody and I'm like, wake up, record it, and I'm like, now have I heard that before or is that mine, you know? So it's sometimes the creative process is still going while you're sleeping. So.
to hide away We're calling through the shadows Wrapped in moonlight's red Oh, sweet temptation, what do you do to me? We're a hold out just tonight So we can be free In the last day of summer I am falling in love again Well, that blues on the radio Soundtrack to our sound Skin in the morning, a midnight ride on the Champs Elysees. You captivate my thoughts and emotion. I see whatever I have to to make you see. Well, thank you very kindly. I say this often during our live shows. You can be anywhere in the world tonight. You're with us. You're coming to see a performance. You've come to experience something visceral, something that'll make you feel. And I always feel it's a great honor to have an audience that wants to explore some of the, the good time things in life. Seventeen over the posted sign Try to forget a free dress The way I shine but she was mine My well, hair decks and I'm so damn restless I let the blues wash over me I got a secret to pin But there's no improvement my condition On the dark side of ecstasy Maybe we're not called to find a secret clearly Maybe this bad light will guide my way The way I do I'm doing the level temptation The moment you just said it's time to play Carolina, four days under the autumn moon. Rolling through the 
toughest Speak a band with my favorite tune I'm feeling high as the smoke in mountains Anticipating the high stage light Something legends so sweet That tends to the form of shadows But to keep it bright Maybe we're not falling If I'd have seen clearly Maybe the satellite would guide my way Boy, how soon I'll give myself a temptation To pull me through the stage It's time to play Up from a density river veil, memories that you walk upon, and you can still taste how it feels. Once you wear, gotta pack it up from a density river veil, memories that you walk upon, you can still taste how it feels. In the fall, they do the stage, it's time to play Maybe we're not, all about us to glimpse it Maybe the style, I will get my way But I'll soon look at myself a temptation In the fall, they do the stage, it's time to play We're at the Lars Nelson Band, thank you so much. Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. If you enjoy watching Backroads online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org.